This is Elden Ring, and I am on a journey to become the most tyrannical force ever to be seen among the land. This is episode one of Becoming the Elden Lord. In order to begin my journey, I would first need to create my character. Now, the world of Elden Ring has many dangerous and powerful creatures, so I needed to create a character that was powerful enough to fight these worthy foes. After creating Gojo, I was shown a cutscene where I learned how problematic the world was. Then I realized I was essentially brought here against my will, so I was gonna make it everyone's problem. Upon spawning into the world, I picked up on Asakura's fingers and began to explore. I found many wonderful messages left behind by other tarnishes before me, but my exploring was soon interrupted by my first grand enemy. After some quick judgment, I realized that I would have to resort to my final move right off the start, running away like a little bit. I was awakened by an e-girl, who in kindness left me tears of Republicans and Democrats. I then traveled through the Cave of Knowledge, where I proceeded to terrorize every single creature, living or dead. However, when I reached the end of the cave, I was confronted by the Soldier of Roderick. Now, I don't have no diary, but I'ma show you who the wimpy kid is. But after some trial and an error, I defeated Roderick and made my way out of the cave. Dog, what am I supposed to do here? Just to shield bash it? There's something I'm missing. Never mind, maybe not. I entered the land of Limgrave where I was greeted by this gentleman who reminded me about how bitchless I was. But that's okay, because I have anonymous sources that tell me that his kids are about to be picked up by a white van, never to be heard from again. I began terrorizing the surrounding wildlife. And before y'all tell me I'm a terrible person for killing everything in sight, I tried making friends, but they kept drawing swords on me, so I just chopped them up and continued on. I came across a camp where my inner loot radar started going off the charts, so I decided to indulge in some BSLP, blood spillage and loot pillage. However, this dude right here saw all my violent crimes and decided to snitch, and it cost me my life. So I had to strategize. The first thing I did was kill this guard and infiltrate the camp. The next thing on my agenda was to find and assassinate the snitch, which didn't prove to be very difficult. <laughs> With the snitch dead, I picked off the rest of the guards and sat at a nearby grace where I was confronted again by the e-girl. She sat down and also reminded me about how bitchless I was. But before I could send her address to Mexican cartel members, she offered to be my bitch. What a nice way to apologize. She also asked for my hand in marriage, which gives me horse privileges. I engage in some marital hand-holding so that the e-girl can level me up. I continue on my adventure, but was greeted by an unexpected surprise. I Things may look bad, but I've watched Attack on Titan, so I know how to take care of these type of situations. And he has a sword. God, his damn assault. Even after a valiant effort, the Beast Titan turned me into Brie Larson's horrible excuse for an ass and sent me back to touch grace. Upon responding, I remembered that there were new swords that I could use at my disposal. But in the middle of my second attempt, a new challenger entered the ring. It's the stand, it's the it took a while, but I finally beat the Beast Titan, but was only left with a titty tip amount of health. But that's okay, because I'm just going to heal at this grace and then continue for- Surprise, motherfucker. God damn it! So I slayed the Beast Titan again, killed all the guards, and finally passed through. While adventuring on, I decided to experiment with my new horse to see how I can use him to my tyrannical advantage. And oh my god, is this thing fucking OP. Upon discovering another lost grace, I found the Warmaster Shack. Inside was a guy talking about how he could teach me the ways of the sword. Honestly, it sounded like mal karate bullshit, so I refused to buy a subscription. After all, I'm already a black belt and fuck this shit, I'm out. I continued on a little further where I found myself another camp. So you already know I indulged in some more BSLP. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me. Can you hear me? Bro, shut the fuck. I decided to find which bitch got their titties in a twist and found 3000 BC Kool-Aid Man. I gave him some Spanx so he could pop out of the hole and he thanked me by giving me his meat. <laughs> Nearby, I found a pool full of some eldritch horrors, so I decided to go investigate. I killed one of the children, and Mama decided she wanted to turn me into a pool of lost runes. After engaging in a little bit of combat, I realized I had no choice but to run away like a little bitch. Just kidding, since she didn't know how to act, I killed all her children and disposed of any witnesses. I traveled forward, where I then found the land of beast titans. Since I was feeling a little devious, I decided to engage in combat. Many mistakes were made, but that's okay, because just like many times before, I escaped death and I'm ready to... I retrieved my lost runes and decided to explore a different way. I come across a bridge that was being guarded by a... Dude! Dude, are you good? My man was clearly not okay, so I gave him a couple of slaps and an unconsensual rectal examination, then continued on about my day. I then came across another merchant who actually had fresh drip this time, so I sold all my valuable possessions in order to purchase it. I came across this man named D and decided to strike up a chat. He explained to me that death has touched a nearby city, which is funny because I genuinely don't recall ever visiting. Regardless, I decided to check it out and realized that this death was not my doing, but by this guy right here. This battle proved to be difficult, since he was a clear master of running away like a 
little bitch. But if there's one thing that I know, is that there are three things in life that are unavoidable. Death, taxes, and my bitch ass on a steed. Me and Torin sent him back to the main menu and decided to rest over a hard day's work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my Terraria series if you haven't already. Have a great day.